So here we are out in the woods. I found this. I was looking around for these sticks, trying to find some find some sticks that I could use. Because today we're gonna make fire. It's the first time I'm using this, by the way. So I'm gonna see how well this works. Now remember, I've never done this before, so remember, I'm not a survivalist, but I play one on YouTube. Ow. You gotta remember, there's teeth on the other side of this thing. So I found these. I'm gonna try to, I don't know if I can use these or not, but. I guess we'll find out together. Oh, nice. I got lucky. It split right in half. So I've tried to flatten this out as best as I can and then just cut the end off so I have a straight end. And now what I want to do is make a groove in the middle here as a track. So what I'm doing is I'm narrowing this edge down a little bit and it's at a 45 degree angle. So what I do is I'll get this groove, get that groove going. And you put this in here. I probably need to angle a little bit more. All right. Now that we got the GoPro out of the way because it stopped working, we're gonna get back to this. <sighs> Keeps moving on me. It's getting a good it's getting good heat it's getting hot the bad thing is I cannot collect enough dust inside of this to start it keeps falling off it's smoking but I am dying I don't know how to get keep all this dirt off of it keep it in one pile I think it's just a far drop by the time it drops down it's already cooled off it's not enough all right here we go again on the other side It is catching all the dust inside there. It might not be deep enough. It is hot. If you can't see, I'm sweating pretty bad doing this. I hope my it doesn't fall in there, put it out. I'm getting smoke. But I am not getting an ember inside there. My arms are exhausted. 10, 15 minutes of doing this. And of course, I forgot my knife. So I'm doing this with a broken piece of glass. So 
so number three what I forgot was this little ledge part I had it was a straight corner before what I messed up on is I didn't realize they said you had to cut this and that's what helps push the ember straight because when it's a straight one it just kind of pushes it all over the place and the ember doesn't sit still there you go new design Stay in the groove, that'll help. I can get this thing to smoke like a madman, but I cannot get this thing started. So, on my third try, I have failed miserably, and I give up. So forget the machete. Yeah, I'm taking a fire starter, because I cannot start a fire rubbing two sticks together, as you guys can see. Very physically exhausting. I'm beat. Two tries ago, or one try ago, you can actually see that I'm see that I'm like dripping, dripping sweat. So, as you can see, I failed. Three strikes, I'm out. Physically and mentally exhausting to try to get this fire started. So I can say that I hope, I hope I can do a bow drill, or that my partner brings a fire starter, because this ain't gonna cut it. I cannot cut it rubbing two sticks together, but we will try with a bow drill. Maybe that's going to be a better shot, but three different tries, all with an hour try. I tried an hour each time. Three hours, gone. Three hours of my life on this is gone. This thing was a great idea. It got a lot of heat. You saw a lot of smoke, but no ember, no fire. I did get a lot of smoke. And it felt good to actually see that smoke. I had heard that if you get smoke in the first 10 seconds, the first 10 to 20 seconds, that you're gonna get it. But I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's, it has to be my technique, it has to be. Done. Chalk this up. So we're gonna chalk this up. Watchdog one. Death one. Probably gonna die. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry I couldn't get it started for you. I know you were very excited about this, so was I. I was going to feel like the king. Now I, now I feel like a peasant. I feel like the peasant of peasants. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.